Hey guys, welcome back to the Insane Trilogy. Um, I would be playing Crash 2, but unfortunately... I've been I hit with, hedge to, I, I've been hit with thought, hedgehog fever, so Logan is going to have to take over for me. Sorry. Not hedgehog well, fever. That? <laughs> that was me trying to go, I had to arrive, because I thought... No, that, what I was that sound was That music. sound that happened when you came in? Like, did you accidentally hit the mic or something? That was me put the, no, that was me pushing my uh, keyboard in. Also, by the way, uh, he dead. Yeah, yeah, he dead. Rest in peace, oh, wait, Fortress. right. This is just basically an anime. We're playing an animated movie, so yeah. Mm -hmm. We're playing a Warner <laughs> Brothers cartoon. By the way, I love how we glanced over that UV level. Of course. Yeah. Ooh. That's all, apparently, folks. Oh, apparently, wait. Beneath, apparently, beneath Cortex Industries was that. So apparently, one year he built this. Naughty dog. I, I love, I, I love Corey Burton as a, uh, as engine, engine here. Yeah, yeah. I and like him, but the second I'm not gonna... in command apparently. Um, I think Burton does a great job as engine. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss Nolan North though. <laughs> Same. <laughs> For reasons, but anyway. Do you think I'm unaware he of needs the help. Yeah, and it's clear. It's quite clear the um, handicapped rock rocket guy over there isn't going to help any. Yeah. An enemy. But meanwhile, suddenly sister. Yep. Playing Uncharted Four. Yeah. Or was. I love the little. I love the little detail that they did of Crash like sleeping. It's almost like he's part dog or something. Yeah. God. Anyway, I I we're uh, on the way. So we have some things to explain real quick. I and I will get right to. Well, plenty of gameplay. I promise. We have classic gameplay, and we have new abilities like this. Crouching. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, we can... He knows how to bust a groove and crawl like a baby. And do this. Look at that. Spin. Now let's see the and actual... Slide jumps. Yeah, slide jump. <laughs> there you uh, go. Yep. You, can, you can do spin uh, Spin jumps are in the original... I'll take that. <laughs> um, yeah, you can, also, you, you can also do this little spin jump thing that James showed me to get extra air on your jumps. You're welcome, okay. by the way. Thank you. And you. Let's see what else we can do. You can also ground pound. Ah, oh, Oops. oh, perfect actual use of this. Uh, you can do high jumps by crouch jumping. That too. Eat your, eat your oh. heart out, Crash 1. This game's well, got high the jumps. There's the house. Let's just get past and, here to oh, get to the, the house. Oh, Hey! Oh. Well, so much for that, for that. So much for that laptop battery. Where the heck are we? Yeah. My boy, yeah. welcome no, to welcome Limbo. Right huh? Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. Did I kill you? For the crude means used to bring you here. But I'd rather Mine is set back, I assure you. Would have been turned down. I need your help. Okay. Yes. We'll okay. Just, okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to. I'm going to like just mention. Crystal. What Cat Icarus mentioned like that this. what okay. what they should Bring have the done here crash. is not is revealed that now. Cortex was a we bad guy at the beginning. Again. That way, like yes, we know that Crash is an idiot and he'll believe anything, but still, yeah. But I'm fine. Well, in all fairness, Matt, that's real. That's a fault of the original game too, because it, it, it didn't start off the exact same way. Yeah. Let's go off the Turtle Woods. I, I, this is. The, I'll, I'll just scare all the way right now. You're gonna hear me gush a couple times because I'll oh, be kind to the boxes during a special gym. We'll talk about them in a second. But <laughs> yes, I'll get out of the way real quick. This is easily my favorite game out of the trilogy. It just it feel it just feels the best to me. It's. I'd be lying if I said it, if it wasn't my one of my favorites too. I mean, I still have a huge soft spot for the first game, but the second one definitely did improve on a lot of things. Guys, though, if I can just say one something. Wait, yeah. so I'm gonna say right now. Ooh. Don't touch any of the boxes. Okay. To get the special, so we have the special gem. We want to move fast, and because I'm going to be going through this stage anyway, this? I thought let's just speed up. Hey, look, however, we're playing Sonic's ass. Wait. But wait, however, pay very close attention to this part. Yes. <laughs> this is very important, people. Jump on the bouncy. Oh, ring. that one. You okay. Won't break it. Okay, back to work. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go around at the speed of sound. Just want to make sure we got that out of the way. Guys, we're now playing Whoa. Sonic's ass. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Oh. And Blue Jam. And Blue James was a here. And James showed me uh, your saving sound the tubes. Down side. It works. It lets you save the gem, and now we can do it the real way. Oh, he cool. commits suicide anyway. with resolve. And thankfully, and thankfully, because he because he runs with the same kind of logic that Conker does, well... I guess now yeah, real just quick. Okay. Just so on. anyway, no. guys. Yeah, I was about to say. Where are we saying? Oh, sorry. sorry. You you uh got so James mentioned his game was the first. His favorite is the first one. 
and Logan's favorite is the second. Guess what my favorite yes. is? Third one. Well, yep. So that means, yes, we are respectively doing our favorite games in the trilogy. Oh, by the way, you can also do that. You can also do a belly flop. That leaves your imprint in the sand, I just noticed. That's so yep. cute. Yeah. But yeah, did Battle anybody four. else notice that? Uh, yeah. The sand imprint? Yeah. I just realized that, and it's very nice. Do oh, no, the, the fact that we're all playing our favorite game. I'm yep. cool with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Should I go ahead and just say what my favorite is, since we're already into that kind of discussion? No! Sure. Just kidding, sure. <laughs> um... I'd have to say, out of the three, I have the most experience and thus a bigger soft spot for three. Although I still have a great appreciation for two. Kind of like, honestly, my relations with Crash 3 and 2 are kind of similar to my relations with Sonic 1 and... Uh, not Sonic 1 2. Sonic 2 and 3 and Knuckles. In that, 3 and Knuckles, I think, is the best. But I still have a great appreciation for two for all the things that it did for the franchise. And that also applies to uh, oh. Crash here. Oh, I real quick just noticed, uh, those those green crates, those were added to this game. Those are nitro crates. Yeah. Those are far more unforgiving. Make sure you slide jump really quickly. Uh, those are far more unforgiving than red TNT crates. One touch, except for when SGB seems to play this game, and then in which case, what the heck's a hitbox? Um, <laughs> but other than that, they will blow you up at all. What the, the fuck only is safe a hitbox? Destroy them. The only safe way to destroy them is with the green switches. Yeah. Or if you have a knockoff. And, and just for the kids that... Kids that yes, James? Just for the kids that are listening back home, Nitro is shorthand for nitroglycerin. Yeah, that's Very sad. What? what? I, for the longest time, I used to think... For the longest time, I used to think... Ah, for the longest time, I used to think it was nitrous oxide. That won't be for a Someone few else. games. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Which, should also, which should also get the insane tro trilogy treatment. I hear a lot of people does. saying Actually, that. Um... Actually, in my opinion, uh, I feel like because it's a Vicarious Visions game, I feel like they should do a, uh, like, do, do a, uh, HD version of, uh, cra the Crash games for, uh, Game Boy. And also Indeed. Wrath of Cortex. Maybe have a portable release for that. Actually, it's funny you this, mentioned that. Me out, uh, I uh, could... You go first and then I'll do my thing. Okay, I was gonna say, I could actually see, especially now I just realized about it, even though yes, the third one, the third one I'm about to mention probably doesn't make any sense. They could probably do another trilogy, but just have it be CTR, then tag team, and then uh, crash whatever. Nitro card. Wait, so it was, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, CTR, nitro card, then tag team. Do we really want an HD, HD uh, remake of uh, tag team racing? I want. Oh, hang on. This is okay. I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm glad I got that. That box is a pain. I if you know. Don't, if you're know, if you yeah. not attentive. Do, 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 do. Especially since, bad, bad I an, box and one. especially since when I was a kid, I was an idiot and didn't know that you could just jump, that you could jump on the turtles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, so, sorry. Well, you, well, so you were saying? Oh, sorry. I was about to say, has Mario taught you nothing, Matt? <laughs> So, hi, you were saying something earlier? Um, I was about to say, it's kind of funny that you mentioned uh, remaking other Crash games, because I think this would be an excellent time to talk about this. Um, at the time of us recording this, not the exact time, but a little before we recorded this, um, one Keith Webb, I think that's how you pronounce his name, who many Crash fans would know as one of the main developers behind <laughs> Crash Twin Sandy, sent an open letter to Vicarious Visions saying that they're proud of how successful the Insane Trilogy is, and proposed that they team up to make a hypothetical remake, or remaster, or whatever you want to look at, of Twin Sandy. Oh, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Give it the, R give it the RE treatment, and I think we're golden. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, anyway. Well oh, done, by the way, uh, great thing you could you. do here uh, that I feel like Logan should have showed off if he doesn't. I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, no. If you don't get the crystal, he just continuously gets angrier and angrier. And there yeah. are trophies and funny related thing is, to it. Yes, and, for those of you, and for those of you that, and before anyone thinks it, it applies to any level in this first tier. It doesn't have to be just the first level. That you bring them. Oh, by the, but it has by the to way, be, since... but it has, but I need, wait, let me finish, but it has to be, oh, Are you there, oh, Coco's trying to intercept her. Mm -hmm. Are you there? But the God, other I thing is, the other, important, the, the other important thing to note is you have to, you, it has to be before you get the first crystal, so right? It's like, right now, it's impossible for me to show it off. Right. It has oh, to be well. before you get the first crystal. Yeah. In all fairness, anyway. if it was 
if it wasn't Matt that was going to bust his balls, it was probably going to be me because I'm honestly kind of appalled. He kind of forgot about that too. I didn't know it was a thing. I literally <laughs> thought they just were like, yeah, no idiot would forget the freaking one thing they're supposed to do in this game, which is to progress. Yeah, so, which, is, which is something I'll, I think a lot of people oh easily missed. So, because like I would never think, you know, it'll be fun. Let's not do that. By the way, so, yeah, you know what would be fun? Let's 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 piss off Cortex by just uh, it, like in it like in. <laughs> Just purposefully missing the crystal. By the way, we were just also, in a forest. Now we're in the tundra. What oh, the sense geez. make? Which I like. What, which is fun. I like the teleporter thing because it, it gives us more variety without having to without having to explain it. This, however, I hate. Yeah, the yeah. ice physics the the is the worst thing in this series. Please observe how I screw myself over thanks to the ice physics. Wait. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is the ice, game in the nutshell. Ice is so... Get a flash ruined. Ice in this game is so bad, it even affects your your your, air, your airborne directory. I, get, I guess I'm gonna you could right, say it wasn't very ice for you. I'm going to tell you right now, I was, even, I was not even doing that for the sake of dramatic tension. That literally just happened on <laughs> accident. Mm -hmm. This game is just ice level, which is sad, especially when you look at the title screen for Insane Trilogy. They're really banking on the ice levels. By the way, that's another thing is I don't know if they had that in the original game, but uh, enemies can get uh, knocked back and chained into. Oh, and I also want to say oh, that's real quick. Thing. That, that was the thing in the trail original trilogy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to point out real quick about the Nitro boxes. We saw it very briefly before we left, but one infamous addition that the Insane Trilogy did with the Nitro boxes is that, you know how normally they'll just bounce up every now and then? Every couple of bounces, it'll bounce even higher than usual, and that can mess up your platforming if you're not observant enough. And that was, was put in there on purpose. Dumb. dumb. Very fucking dumb. I don't have any idea why they thought that was a good idea in practice. Like, see if we'll show it off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You. Because it, 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 it adds an additional... Luck oh, factor. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, and not only that, but an additional, like, RNG factor to if you're going to be okay or not. Because it does it erratically. Um, and, yeah, bonus uh, bonus stages are back, but they're a lot more fluid than in the first game where you kind of stepped on poles. Hey. Now you mm -hmm. just go and Just going to say, no RNG can be as bad as the XCOM games. Probably not. I was watching a friend of mine, and for the third time in a row, a character died for him. Mar you, at, you, Ubisoft, we have hope, hopes for Mario, Mario plus Rabbids. Don't fail us. Actually, no. No. Mario's plus Rabbids actually did a smart thing. They decided, hey, how about if they're out in the open, they get fucking hit? Yeah, and not and not all have a fifty percent chance, not have like a ninety five percent chance, which means that even if you were pointing, by the way, don't hit that switch back there, which means even if you were at point blank range, there's still a chance that your soldier could have a brain fart. Real quick, actually, and then we'll get right back to the game. I promise. <laughs> um, real quick, if we're gonna talk about XCOM, because I was watching my friend play the, the first game. So the Exalted or the Exalt program? Yeah. I'm like. How useful is having the World Council on our side if, uh, yeah, that switch activates these ones. How, what, what, what the hell's the point of the Council being on our side if these other humans who do not have the Council on their side can just get all the same technology as we can? Like, what purpose is the Council really, what benefit is this Council giving us what, when this other which human humans? can have all the, 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 the people who work for Exalt, the people who are, like, the sympathizers for the The area. Council lied Exalt, to us. Do you mean... The sympathizer for the aliens, probably because they sympathize with the aliens. Are you talking about the company? No, no, no I'm, never mind. Oh, right, I'm okay. sorry, I'm, you're talking about the first game. Never mind. Yeah, sorry, the first game, sorry. <laughs> I was watching, yeah, I was on XCOM 1. The other one, the other thing I was going to say was I love, uh, oh, don't, we're, we have to come yeah. back for the red gem later from an alternate entrance. Which, yeah. uh, James, tell them about the alternate entrances. Alternate entrances are usually found found by by activating a secret pathway, which you usually have to do by a random means. Sometimes it's a, it could be hey, as wait, simple as guys? jumping on fake guys? nitro carts. Uh, or, darn. Oh, oh. You are How come it's you Jesus himself? How come this didn't kick in when you got your first your first gem earlier? Because, because, Cor <laughs> because Cortex intercepted you. Yeah, because Cortex had to do the first crystal thing. I love hey, his animation, back. by the way. Yeah. You just gotta love him. Saying so. And I will do anything in my power to 
Dude seriously looks like he's about to, he's about to uh, he's about to let, let one out. <laughs> so, seriously, somebody, somebody get the guy get somebody get the guy some cold serum. Yeah. Give him a devil name blacksmith. Also, uh, also oh. Wait, wait, wait. Also, watch this. Laser beam. Laser beam. <laughs> also, they canonically explain that Embryo's the guy who has all the forces we're fighting this time, technically. Yeah. Well, to be mm -hmm. fair, that's what the original game did, too. On all of this, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to normal. Yeah. So, and no, I'm not doing time relics either, because screw that. Yeah, leave that. Not to mention yep. they're optional. Yeah, leave <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Ah, just well, that's chill out, bro. Just ch chill out, bro. Sif, let's go have some gnarly waves in this river stage. And thus, Logan is filled, filled off and filled off his um piss off neck. No, anyway, welcome to our first river stage with some classic music, which we were almost worried they weren't going to have some of this instrumentation in, but they added it in before the release. Funny yeah. enough, Cat Icarus doesn't like this song, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, seriously, was, this, seriously, this remix rocks. Well, did he and explain like, why he didn't like it? He didn't because like of, the guitar of, riff for some reason. Yeah. Also, Oop. I died because to get our first special gem, we need a race in oh, less God. than one second till the end. One second, one minute until the beginning of the stage. Yes. So be real quick. And I, I'm, also, I'm also trying to avoid the checkpoint boxes so I can, you know, do the whole kill myself routine, get the gem, hey, and let's start from the beginning again. So that's what. Time so that's what the world, like, world. So that's what the world looks like in Crash's perception. What I also love is that I think Crash just can't swim because when Coco uh, drops into the water, she doesn't just drown. She just kind of floats there like, come on, man. But Crash, ironically, though, dead. I was yeah. about to say, ironically, she's holding her laptop the entire devil damn time, even when the water, so that doesn't electrocute her. Why? Waterproof. Waterproof. Are there yeah. waterproof Water boxes? Hell yeah. yeah. Or, or if not that, then at least cases. I don't really see any. She doesn't even have a case. Yeah, I was about to say. Well, I well, I guess in that case, hmm. I will say I I will say the one part of this game that really annoys me is that in order to get colored gems, you need to know. Uh, I think that in order to get colored gems, you need to no no no. In order to go through death routes, you need to not die a single time, and even and even and. Even uh, again, quitting or leaving a level, you have to quit all the way out. You can't. There's no just reset button. Yeah, but and, um, hey, hey, here's the good thing: if you die on the death route, you can repeat the death route. Oh yeah, it saves it like a checkpoint. Oh yeah. By the way, that's the thing that Crash Two introdu introduces the death routes. Pretty much does their way of uh, of uh, bringing back the whole no death world from Crash from Crash One. Though this time, though in this game's case, they condense it to only a couple of levels. Right. And I'm, and, and I'm solely speaking on behalf of, like, the original Naughty, Naughty Dog trilogy, not so much the Insane trilogy, which actually fixed that whole, whole stupid shit in the, yeah. in the um, original's remake. Gotcha. You're careful. Uh, yeah, that always Yeah, that's a bit yeah. tricky. So, and then as you saw there, also, uh, real quick, uh, this also, this game, similar to the first one, still has, um... Uh, the the colored gems, which unlock various paths in other uh, levels. Yep. I think, so that's, that's, I, think that's, I think that's pretty much the staple of all the um, of the crash games with this gameplay style. No, it'd be a so dick. I... No, it'd be a dick move if what that... if one of those boxes on heading the way back was a nitro cart. Was a nitro cart? Yeah. yeah. That would suck. Cause that's cause I'm gonna say right now, I agree with you because that is one thing this game. I'm actually kind of upset that they didn't do anything with that for my Carrie's visions. Also, these guys just like dancing. <laughs> by the way, yeah, by the way, fun fact: once you once Fake Crash starts appearing on the scene, that's actually where he appears. Oh, in that oh, area with the piranha cool. plants. Neat. So, yeah, fine. to give it a little, to give it more purpose than to just place two random piranha plants. Alrighty. So the issue is that this game, there are some levels that require copious amounts of backtracking mm -hmm. all the boxes and as you notice the camera is very conveniently placed so I can see what's coming up ahead of me not at all for what's coming behind me yeah Oops. Ow. my ass I thought yeah. I could sneak around the left and even yeah and even with all that space Logan still ran into that bomb I thought I could go around the left it, it didn't let me go forward to the left there you have to be very you have to be very oh, I, I guess this, I guess this thing is very sticky Hey, something I'm kind so, of curious about. Uh, 
I was just about to say, those ramps that we were going through, I know one thing people complained about how they changed the ramps for the wave, for the hover, the watercrafts in 3. Do the changes to those ramps apply to the ramps in 2 as well? And look, it's a face. I think hmm. so. Oh, I see. Uh, what do you guys, what's your guys' opinion of the jet board? It's okay. I don't mind it personally. Alrighty. Well, in that case, thank you guys so much for watching our first part. We'll be sure to have some fun adventuring in the next part. Take care, everybody, and have a crash tacular day. Thank Hi. you, Mr. Brio. Shut up. Okay. See ya. Bye. See you guys.